Uh, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. It's 8-24-2018. Uh, and uh, I got this message from the Lord uh, about a day ago. And it's really about Turkey, the country of Turkey, and what's going on there right now and how, uh, you know, the United States put economic sanctions on Turkey and how it's affecting their economy. But it, they're getting money from some other Arab nations to help uh, finance them and fund them. But in the meantime, uh, he gave me a couple scriptures to... Uh, to give to you today to uh, explain to you, you know, Turkey's role, Turkey's role is going to be in that Ezekiel 38, 39 war. And I think Turkey first, though, is going to have something to do with the Psalm 83 war. And the first uh, scripture that the Lord gave me was Daniel 1145. Um, actually, Daniel... Uh, 36 through 45, I think it is. 36 through 45. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods, and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished, for that is uh, determined shall be done. Neither shall he regard the god of his father, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces, and a God whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God, whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. And he shall cause them to rule over many, and shall divide the land for gain. And at that time of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots, and with horsemen, and with many ships. And he shall ever enter into the countries, and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter also into the glorious land. And many countries shall be overthrown, but these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom and Moab, and the chief of the children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver, uh, and over the precious things of Egypt, and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore, he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make uh, away many. And he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas of the glorious holy mountain. Yet he shall come to his end and none shall help him. And uh, this is in regard to... Uh, to Turkey, and it's in, in regard to this coming Antichrist. And I don't know exactly how this is going to play out as far as the Antichrist part of this goes, but uh, the Jews are looking for their Messiah to come, and uh, the Arabs are looking for their uh, Ayman Mahdi to come. So they both have like these messiahs that are supposed to come here right in the last days at the end of days. One for the Muslims and one for the Jews. And uh, both of those descriptions of those coming messiahs fit the description in, in our Bible of what is the Antichrist. So, you know, you have two possible uh, situations there. Does the Antichrist come out of does the Antichrist come out of Turkey, or does the Antichrist uh, is the Antichrist a Jew going to be a Jew that's going to make the covenant with many for seven years? Well, that's you know really up in the air uh, based on what the Lord showed me here about Turkey, the country of Turkey. Um, uh, there's 57 uh, Muslim nations, Islamic nations. 
and the Islamic cooperation to join together militarily and march to Jerusalem, uh, you know, headed by, you know, that was when they took that vote when, you know, Trump decided to move the embassy to Israel and to Jerusalem and then make uh, the capital and make that the capital of Israel. Those 57 Muslim nations, you know, voted against that uh against that move and now coming up here in September we're going to have that peace treaty but is uh, are the 57 nations headed by the country of Turkey are they going to set off um, some kind of a war prior to the to this agreement that's coming in September or at the time of the agreement and uh, that would be the fulfillment of the Psalm 83 war that we've been wa watching for and waiting on. But eventually, out of that, Psalm 83 war is going to come Ezekiel 38 and 39. And I don't believe that the time between the two things is a, a very long period of time. They're, they're really close together. And that's why some people, they will argue... Uh, which is going to come first, Psalm 83, War, or Ezekiel 38, 39? But I think the answer, from what I've learned, is Psalm 83, War, will come first, and then Ezekiel 38 and 39, but they're going to be really close together. And so it's not really going to matter much a difference which one of them occurs first. Now, of course, the Ezekiel 38, 39 is by far the, you know, the Psalm 83, War, Israel gains territory from the enemies in that war. Ezekiel 38:39. that's where all these nations come against Israel and go up in the mountains and uh, most of their armies are destroyed and they're turned back. And uh, so by far, the Ezekiel 38:39 is the worst of the two wars. And also, I, I really think that the Psalm... Uh, the, I mean, Ezekiel 38, 39, I believe that that's really described of World War III and that we're going to see countries outside of the Middle East involved in that when it breaks out. And then out of that, the ashes of the World War III will come the Daniel 927 covenant with many for the seven years. And, you know, we, we expect to be gone. Anyway, um, the... Uh, Psalm 83, Warren, Ezekiel 38 and 39. 70 million in Turkey are ready to march for Allah and the Hamas. There's 70 million people over there out of Turkey that want to march in, against uh, Israel and uh, go in there and invade and take probably take Jerusalem, the capital, of control of it is really what they want to do and do away with the Jews and get them out of there altogether. Now, um, they want to, uh, the embargo with uh, Gaza, they want that uh, lifted. And Istanbul and the Muslim nations of the world will march to Palestine. That was the thing that they were thinking about, you know. They voted against the Jerusalem being the capital of Israel when once Trump did that. Those 57 nations voted against it. But their idea is to march to Palestine. Syrian Turkey. Now, the where the seed of Satan comes in is uh, Pergamon, which is a, a city in Turkey. Now, is the seed of Satan, according to the Book of Revelations in the, the second chapter. I'll go over to there and read that for you. Um, and it's uh, chapter 2, and it's uh, verses 12 and 13. And the angel to the angel, and to the angel to the church of Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. So, you know, right here in, in, in Revelation, and this is also in the book of Revelation, so we know that's in that last seven-year period of time we're speaking of here. It, it clearly shows you right here that the seed of Satan and where he's at is in 
Pergamos, Turkey. You know, that's his, uh, the capital, his world capital, or whatever you want to call it. It's in the country of Turkey. Uh, and they're all waiting, like I said, on the Imam Mahdi to show up. All of those 57 Muslim nations are waiting for their Messiah to show up. Is their Messiah going to be a Muslim? Is, is their Messiah is a Muslim, but is the Messiah is is their Messiah going to be the Antichrist, or is the Antichrist going to be a Jew uh, and the Messiah that they're waiting on to come? And that's the mystery that you know. Of course, the Lord hasn't revealed to me, but what He is revealing to me is that that's the area to look for. And keep your eyes on as far as the Antichrist, subject of the Antichrist is concerned. Uh, watch the Middle East. That's the place to be watching. I don't know if it's, you know, some people have uh, guessed as to who they think the Antichrist is. And I don't think that those, uh, I don't think that those guesses are correct. There were some people that would have thought years ago that Hitler was the Antichrist. Well, he was a type of Antichrist, to, of the one to come, even like Napoleon was a type of Antichrist, an example of, but uh, of course the actual Antichrist of the last seven years in the book of Revelation is going to be, un, it's going to be an unparalleled type of evil person. So you're going to be talking about somebody far worse than Hitler ever was. Um but anyway, the seed of Satan, that was a Pergamum, that's the ancient city. There was actually a, a, a altar there that was uh, moved, or they did a, made a replica of it, and they moved that altar the, of uh, Zeus. They moved that thing to the Berlin Museum there in Germany. And uh, I watched a video the other day of where they were showing that uh, seed of Satan. <clears throat> that came from Pergamon. They were, and they actually, I don't know if it's a, the original one or a replica of the original, but uh, he went there to the Berlin Museum and uh, he was showing the, uh, that altar. And uh, the temple keepers of Asia, the altar of Satan, altar of Zeus mentioned in the book of Revelation, and there was a healing uh, center that was there in that city. <clears throat> Excuse me, brothers and sisters. And then um, the Greek serpent god, uh, there was a healing center and there was a temple bull there. And that's where the uh, fire was lit under the bull and Antipas was martyred. Uh, that's the thing that the Lord is speaking of in the second chapter of the book of Revelation there that I just read to you. And Hitler gave a speech about the final solution from the redesigned Pergamon altar, you know, the seed of Satan altar. And, uh, and, and, and also Turkey at the time, at that time was part of the, uh, in the ancient times, was part of the Roman Empire. And this, uh, you know, last uh, kingdom that's going to come is a revised Roman Empire which means that would be, you know, Turkey would be part of the revised Roman Empire for that last seven years. So Turkey is definitely in that part of the, was the old Roman Empire. They were part of the old Roman Empire. Um, and the Assyrian Empire, he particularly wanted me to mention to you and point out ancient Syrian Empire because there's a scripture in the Bible where it's referring to the Antichrist and he's referred to, you know, he's called the Assyrian. That's what he's called. That's one of his titles. It's the Assyrian. And so uh, that gives you a clue about where he's coming from. But what, where was the old, what was part of the old Assyrian Empire? What were all of the nations that comprised the old Syrian Empire? Assyrian Empire? They were uh, Israel, Lebanon, Syria, Turkey, Iraq, Iran, and Egypt. So part of the old Assyrian Empire was Israel. 
They were part of that old Assyrian Empire, and so was Turkey. So in Ezekiel 38-39, does Turkey come down with uh, Russia, with Iran, with Egypt, with uh, Syria, with, uh, I think, Ethiopia. It lists all the nations there. There's quite a few nations that band together. Do they come down there to, and go up over those mountains in Ezekiel 38 and 39 to retake the land of Israel for the Assyrian Empire that used to be? So Turkey is part of the invasion forces, goes down there to Israel to take, it, uh, take over it and take control of that land. And there's like oil and natural gas and things like that down there that are valuable. And that also is going to be an incentive for them to go and get it and control it. Um, and, uh, you know, reclaim it for the old ancient Assyrian Empire. I think that that's exactly what's going to happen in Ezekiel 38-39. Uh, um, and so, uh, uh, also, the thing that they just uh, I just heard about, a couple of things, that are related to this thing is that uh, Turkey bought, bought some Russian S-400 defense missiles. And I guess they'll be delivered in the beginning of 2019 here, but, you know, those are they gearing up and, 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 and buying the missiles and strengthening themselves militarily for this Ezekiel 3839 that's coming? And, you know, the Muslim, 57 Muslim nations that want to march down there and take control of Israel? and take control of the city of Jerusalem. Is that why they're arming? And then there was a video that somebody did on April 11, 2018, uh, where the video was about Russia tells its citizens to prepare for nuclear war. It was a video, and they actually showed the original video that was in the Russian language, and it was telling their citizens to get prepared for nuclear war. And, of course... Uh, Russia is one of those nations uh, listed amongst all of the nations in Ezekiel 38 and 39. And they, they, I'm, I'm sure they'll even play a role in the Psalm 83 war. But primarily it'll be, you know, these Muslim nations. Some of the Muslim nations will attack Israel. And according to the uh, Psalm, you know, Israel will be victorious in the war. And they'll actually gain more territory than they, they got in the 67 and the 73 wars. That's what's supposed to happen. But then, of course, that's not going to set well with Turkey and these other Muslim nations. And eventually, you're going to see the Ezekiel 38-39 war is going to be the solution to uh, solving the problem of, of taking back Jerusalem and taking back Israel for the Assyri ancient Assyrian Empire once more and have them rejoin the empire, the old empire. Uh, so that's uh, that's pretty much uh, what I got for this message for today. And then uh, in the next video upload, I'm going to do another uh, video upload about, uh, I want to cover... Uh, the Agenda 21, which was one of those things that Minister Paul did several videos on. I want to cover that. I want to uh, talk a little bit more on the targeted individuals. And then I want to talk a little bit more on, uh, uh, on Minister Paul. So it'll be another Minister Paul update. Uh, and that's going to be on the next video upload. I don't know if I'm going to do that later on today or it'll be tomorrow. More than likely, I'm going to, I'll am going i do that one tomorrow. Uh, so God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And um, I'll see you in the next upload.